as you place yourself in that position, I want you to also experience the miracles that took place when Jesus said, it is finished. The way for you open to God. Your life and its ownership returned to the one who rightfully deserves to own it. And death turned into life. Awesome. Let's pray. There are truly no words for us to describe how grateful and thankful we are, Lord, that you didn't come down from the cross. That you didn't save yourself. But in fact, you gave yourself. So you could do something we could never do. And even right now, as heads are bowed and eyes are closed, <clears throat> you may be here in this place at this time, or listening or watching at another time, but it doesn't matter. The gospel is still just as pertinent to you as it was to those centurion, the centurion and the soldiers who watched him die. You still have to make a decision like the robbers on his left and his right. Do you deride and mock Jesus? Or do you submit to his lordship? Do you want nothing to do with him? Or do you want to be with him as he dies for you? The decision is indeed yours. God will not force you. But he offers the opportunity for you to come to a place that is all good, all the time. To get back to the way that you were created to be. And there's only one who can do it. And that is Jesus Christ. Believe in him today. Put your faith and trust in Him right now. You will never forget it. Uh, never, uh, you will never regret it. It, it. it may not be an easy life, but it's a good one. And it's to a good end. So Lord, take us to the cross. And take us through to the resurrection with You. In Jesus' name.